What's going on guys? Andrew here, back at you with another video. This is day 28, and um, <clears throat> yeah, I got this three pack here for you. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, first one I'll talk about is the top one, which is Tales from Terror. Again, this is a uh, this is one of those uh, Edgar Allan Poe stories uh, from Roger Corman. This film, um, this film is a mixture of all three of um, well, three Poe stories. This is the the Black Cat, the case of M. Uh, Valdemar, and then also um, Morella. Morella, yeah. Um, so my thoughts on this one again. Uh, all three stories are very atmospheric. They have, um, yeah, the, the, I, I, so Morella, honestly, I cannot tell you what it was about because I, I really wasn't that interested in this one. Um, <clears throat> it has to take place on an island though. Um, case of M. Baltimore is basically a guy who's at the end of his life and, uh, it agrees to be hypnotized and that's basically the story from there and then um the black cat is now this one's very different than any iteration of the black cat that i've ever even seen um basically this guy is just awful actually i guess it turns out the exact same as the poe story but um just the guy is just terrible but he doesn't actually harm the cat or anything in this film um, but yeah, my thoughts on this one, um, it's really well shot, it's very moody and atmospheric, again, Vincent Price is outstanding in all three stories, and yeah, it's just, it's an excellent, excellent, um, watch with, with, in regards to, like, mood and atmosphere, the characters are all just kinda, they're okay, um, uh, well shot, honestly though, but the, my one complaint of this film is that uh, it's just not that... I just am not that intrigued by this story. Um, any of these stories, like the way that they the way that they are in this version of them, I just don't really care for them that... Like, I don't care for the characters that much. That And that's that has more to do with the story than the characters themselves. Um, but if I were to give this a score, I would still come in at like a 7 out of 10. It's super moody. It's perfect to watch during the Halloween season again. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, be back at you day 29 with another one. 